Doctor, how do I know for sure if I'm leaking amniotic fluid? Hey friends, I'm Jenica Hill and welcome back to my channel which is all about embracing and celebrating your full magical self. Yeah. I didn't know you were fine. <laughs> I was trying to film my dancing part. <laughs> because you, my friend, are magical. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Just so you know, this channel is about bi visibility, being bisexual and married, but also about me being pregnant right now and pretty much anything that has to do with being your full self, like self love and just philosophical topics, honestly. So if you like that kind of thing, Stick around, we'd love to have you. This week, I just wanted to pop on and share a story that I experienced while I was on a road trip recently, being pregnant. I debated whether or not I wanted to share this and I actually recorded it a couple weeks ago and then decided not to use it because I don't want anybody using this video as medical advice, okay? So huge disclaimer. This is not medical advice. If you think you are having any sort of issue during pregnancy, please contact your doctor or your midwife, your OB, a nurse, someone who can help you, okay? But I felt like this was a common enough issue slash question that I wanted to share because when I was facing this potential issue, I went on YouTube and searched high and low for people's experiences just to give me a little bit of perspective and make me feel less alone, which I feel like that's what YouTube's for at the end of the day. For me anyway, feeling less alone. Anyway, what was the issue you may ask? Okay, well, if you are currently pregnant or if you've been pregnant before, then you know Okay, another disclaimer. This is gonna get a little bit graphic at times, so if you're not into that, wait for the next video, potentially. <laughs> Although it's probably going to be about pregnancy too, because I am 30 weeks right now, and it is just like pretty much all I'm thinking about. So if you're pregnant, if you've been pregnant, then you know you get a lot of discharge when you're pregnant, meaning things, things, liquid, <laughs> mucus coming out of your vagina. This is normal because your vagina uses discharge and mucus to clean itself and it's okay. And also you might be peeing yourself a little bit if you're pregnant. I know it happens to me. That baby's pressing down on your bladder. It's sort of hard to empty your bladder all the way at times. So you stand up and you might pee a little. Lots of discharge, some pee, there's stuff. <laughs> okay. Usually, my discharge was very milky and white, and I was visiting my parents in Boise, Idaho, when I noticed that I was getting more of a clear color discharge. I wasn't sure if it was pee, I wasn't sure if it was just completely clear discharge, or, as I looked online, if it was amniotic fluid. I was, I think, 26 27 maybe weeks pregnant at the time So leaking amniotic fluid at this stage would be very bad because it would mean that my water bag broke and the baby might need to be born early and obviously I Didn't want that so I was googling as we do <laughs> and I found terrifying information about what this could mean and I found very little information to solidly help me discover whether or not this was amniotic fluid, discharge, or pee. And if you look it up, you'll see tons of articles that are like, discharge, pee, amniotic fluid, how to tell. And basically what these articles tell you is to smell it. If it smells more like ammonia, it's probably pee. If it smells sweet, it could be amniotic fluid. And they tell you to put a panty liner on and check the color. But then they say that the color of amniotic fluid could be yellow, could be clear, it could be a little brown if the baby has 
gone to the bathroom inside, that kind of thing. Um, from the meconium, which if you don't know what that is, that's like the baby's first sticky poop. Anyway, I did all of that and I still had no idea. So, I called my birth center, the non-urgent line, and I just said, Hey, I'm traveling. I'm a little bit nervous about what's coming out of me right now. I'm not positive what it is. Can somebody just call me back and let me know what you think or if you think I should go in and get checked out or something? I call, then I'm, you know, freaking out the whole day and I end up going with my partner to a pharmacy and getting a pH test for infections because we looked it up and amniotic fluid is a higher pH than your normal pH level in your vagina. So we get a test. I'm like crying the whole way there. Basically, I've been holding it in trying to stay positive because I like to consider myself a pretty chill person. But when it comes to growing a human inside of you, the responsibility is enormous. And I was like, if I did anything to harm this baby or if I didn't take action when I could, like I would never forgive myself. Anyway, so we get this test. I take it. I don't know, by the way, if you're supposed to do that, so don't go out and do that, but that's what I did. And the pH level was normal. So that made me feel a little better, and I started being like, Okay, this is fine. I had also read online that if you are leaking amniotic fluid, sometimes when you wake up in the morning it can feel like a gush, and the thing about that is sometimes when you pee, it can feel like a gush too. You know what I mean? When like a little pee comes out, I don't know. But sometimes it can just leak out slowly. So like, it's not the way you see it in the movies all the time. If your water breaks, it's not like, oh my gosh, my water broke. Sometimes it's like a little trickle. So basically after I found out my pH was normal from this test, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna obviously take this information as the be all end all of this scenario. I'm gonna wait to hear from my midwife, you know, keep monitoring the situation. So I was still noticing this clear discharge, but I wasn't, I just wasn't sure what it was and I definitely didn't feel a big gush. It felt like a pretty normal amount, um, kind of like that much in my underwear at a time. And when I woke up in the morning, it wasn't like shoom, a flume of liquid or anything. So then, I get a call from one of my midwives and she asks me a bunch of questions about what's been going on. I told her that it just seemed like a change in my discharge. She asked me when. It, I knew the exact day that I started seeing this clear discharge and she, you know, asked all the questions she could ask and then at the end of the questioning she said, you know, I just can't be positive that this isn't amniotic fluid. And if it is, we obviously want to get you taken care of right away. So why don't you just go get checked out at a hospital, labor and delivery floor, and just make sure. And then call us back. So at this point, I'm like, <sighs> my heart starts beating a million miles a minute. And I tell my partner who's like on a video call, I'm like, we need to go. And I told my mom, thank goodness she was there. and. I called an OB that I used to have when I lived in Boise. I think the last time I was at her office, I was probably like 16 years old <laughs> or maybe 19, but still it was a really long time ago. And so, sorry, squirrel distraction, squirrel. <laughs> anyway, I called the OB's office and they basically told me, we can't take you because you're not on our records anymore and we don't take patients for one time. So I was like, are you serious? You can't help me. I mean, I think like my eyes started twitching and cause I was just like in this state of panic. And then I called the hospital in town where I was actually born. And I called like a triage nurse and luckily she was a gem. Her name was Marissa. And she was just so helpful immediately. I told her what was going on. She goes, yep, okay, yep, probably best for you to come get checked out just to make sure, you know, because if something's going on, we'll figure it out. And if not, then you'll have peace of mind. So I was like, okay. My partner and I drive to the labor and delivery floor of the hospital in Boise, and we get up to the, you know, labor and delivery triage floor, and luckily it's not packed or anything, and everybody's so nice. 
so, so nice. And they, you know, kind of calms down just with their words and their demeanor, good bedside manner. And they get me into a room and basically tell me, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take a sample of this, of your discharge of the fluid in your vagina. And then we're going to test it because apparently amniotic fluid, which I had already read because I had Googled so much has this fern like pattern when it dries and you can only see it in a microscope. If I had had a microscope, you bet your bottom, I would have been looking through that microscope to find out if I was leaking amniotic fluid, but I did not have a microscope, alas. So anyway, this, uh, n the nurse came in, she prepped me, she put the heart monitors on the baby, and of course this baby is so active. It was moving around and the heartbeat kept, you know, getting lost and I was like, Stay still so we can make sure you're okay. Then this doctor came in. She was also pregnant. Uh, happened to be like eight months pregnant, I think. So she was very comforting and she said, You know what? From the sounds of it, you are not leaking amniotic fluid. I would be very, very surprised. However, we're going to check, you know, just to make sure since you're out of town. Everybody was really confused why we were there. They were like, you're driving right now? I think they saw how pregnant I was and they were like, why are you on a road trip? But <laughs> they were still nice. So at one point during her questioning, she sort of, and I don't know if this actually happened, but to me it looked like she almost rolled her eyes <laughs> and I felt like, oh no, this is something they've experienced so many times and they probably think I'm so crazy. But she checked me uh, by the way, before she put the instrument inside, she goes, This is a gel-free exam. Just want you to know. And I was like, Cool, cool. Yup, I, I can handle it. Luckily, being pregnant, everything's, you know, pretty lubed up down there. So it was okay. Anyway, she takes a sample. She says, Right away, I don't see a pool of anything. Because as you're laying back, if there's a pool of liquid down there, it can mean amniotic fluid has been collecting. She said, there's no pool of anything. I'm going to take a sample. I really don't think it's amniotic fluid, but of course I'm going to check it under the microscope. So she, she does the check. Then she does a bit of an ultrasound to check my amniotic fluid levels inside the, my uterus. And she said, they looked good. I had good pockets of amniotic fluid. So that was great. And then uh, she took the sample. We had to wait like 10 minutes. We were both a little bit freaking out, but also feeling pretty confident that it was going to be okay. And then she um, never came back, but <laughs> another doctor came in and he was like, I'm in charge of this floor. And then he asked me if we had any questions, said we were probably going to get discharged soon because it seems like everything's fine. So I asked him, Doctor. How do I know for sure if I'm leaking amniotic fluid in the future so that I don't embarrass myself and come to the hospital freaking out and so that I don't let my blood pressure rise from being stressed? And he basically told me that there is almost no way to know unless you actually test it. I don't know if this is 100% true because he also said that this sort of thing is was the bread and butter of the hospital or that floor because people come in who are pregnant all the time with this question. So if you're having this question, you are not alone. Lots of pregnant people have this question because it's really hard to tell. And that's basically what he said. He said, you know, the doctor who took your sample, even though she was pretty sure it wasn't amniotic fluid, she didn't know until she actually checked it. So it can be really hard to tell. So if you're worried, it's always best to come in and get checked out. So I felt kind of silly. I even said to the first doctor, like, I'm sorry to waste your time. And she was like super sweet, patted my knee and was like, no, we are here to take care of pregnant women. That's what we love to do. And that's what we did today. We're happy to take care of you. And I was like, thank you. <sighs> <sighs> so in the end, I was not leaking amniotic fluid. It just happened to be discharge. And I was told that discharge just changes color sometimes during pregnancy. Sometimes it looks a little different. So I guess my main takeaways are being paranoid during pregnancy is absolutely normal and probably understandable. It's very hard to tell the difference between amniotic fluid, pee, and discharge sometimes. 
depending on the situation. If you think something might be wrong and you have a deep instinct, it's probably best just to make sure everything's okay because we have modern medical technology and why not? I don't know how much money this was gonna cost us. We have not gotten the bill yet. So keep that in mind, but we have insurance, thank goodness. So we, you know, used insurance. Another takeaway, if you see a lot of fluid come out and it's a strange color or seems abnormal, it could be amniotic fluid and your water could be breaking. So call your doctor, call your midwife. Don't Google too much, but you know, if you wanna watch videos like this one and just hear from other people that it turned out okay, that really helped me. I watched a video of a woman who said, you know what, this uh, scared me, but it was fine. It was just a lot of discharge. It made me feel so much better because I was like, that could be me. It doesn't mean I'm not gonna go get checked out and make sure for myself, you know? But hearing from somebody else that their situation turned out okay, sometimes just like whew, calms the nerves, you know? So those are my takeaways from this little story. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are not pregnant or not interested in the whole process of growing a baby, then you probably were bored to tears and I'm surprised you made it this far to hear me say that. But if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've had this experience, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. I know there are people who actually have leaked amniotic fluid very early and have had to give birth early. Luckily, medical technology is so amazing that now babies have pretty good outcomes even that early so that's very lucky and um remember if you are having a problem please call your doctor midwife someone who is medically trained don't just rely on youtube but i'm here for you if you just want to reminisce about times you were paranoid during pregnancy or if you're i don't know Whatever, anything you wanna talk about, just comment below, basically. Please go out and be your full magical self today because the world needs you just as you are.